up with things, just a couple of worked examples here. So you can read through the question here, and I'm going to jump straight in and start answering part A. Okay. Which day this train can either be late or not late? So let's create our matrix as late or not late. Late or not late. And this is our uh, transition matrix. This question is calling our probability matrix. All right, let's jump into it. Suppose that the probability the train is late given that it is late the previous day is 0 0.1. So late given it was late, that's 0 0.1. That means not late given it was late would be 0 0.9. These columns always need to add up to one. So as long as you know one of them, you'll know the other one. All right, uh, let's see. While the probability that it is on time, not late, given that it is on time the previous day, not late, is 0 0.95. Which, of course, means that the probability that it is late, given it was not late the previous day, would be 0 0.05. Okay, we have done part A. We have found a probability matrix to represent this information. Okay, part B. If the train is on time on day zero, so, okay, so what we got is a state matrix here. So let's, uh, let, let's just call that part A. Okay, part B, our state matrix is gonna be equal to, um, if the train is on time on day zero, so that's not late. Not late is down there and late is up here. The probability, we're told that it was not late. So the probability that it was not late on that day is one. And the probability that it was late on that day was zero. Okay, so that is our initial state matrix. Uh, find the probability correct to four decimal places that the train is late on day four. Okay, so state on day four will be equal to the transition matrix to the power of four times the initial state matrix, uh, initial state, state zero. Okay, I'm gonna write that all in. Matrix to the power of four times the initial state matrix. We were on time, so one. Uh, okay, writing, all, writing out the answer to this is gonna be tricky, but finding the answer is easy. Type it into your calculator and ask your calculator. Do not try to do this by hand. Do that, you're gonna get this answer. Now, how do we interpret this answer? What was the question again? The train is late on day four. Okay, so late is up the top here, late. So we have to finish by answering the question. The probability that this train is late on day four is equal to probability late on day four is equal to 0 0.0526 or 5.26%. Part um, II, part two here, says the train is late on day five. Now, it's the same process. Interestingly, the thing that's interesting here is that if you try to answer this question by making this a five and this a five and this a five and this a five, the answer will still be that, will still be that late on day five, that. It looks like we've hit our steady state matrix after only five days, or at least very close to our steady state matrix after only five days. So there is your answer to this second part. It's identical because raising this to the power of five almost doesn't change it at all. Important for you to note here that Markov chains can get enormous. They don't have to be two by twos. Um, this one, is about a soccer team that can win, draw, or lose a match. And win, draw, or lose a match. And from this, you get nine probabilities. And let's just interpret a couple before we start. Okay, the probability that the team loses, given they drew the last match they played, is 0 0.1. The probability that they win given they lost the last match they played is 0 0.4. You should note here that all of the columns will add up to one because if they won their last match, something has to happen the next time they play, win, draw or loss. So these need to add up to one. 
These need to add up to one, and these need to add up to one. Okay. Uh, so the question is, what is the probability that the team wins game three of the season if they won the last game of the previous season? Bit of a trick question here. Be really careful that when we do our counting here that we raise to the correct power. All right, so we want to know the third game of the season. We know what our transition matrix is here, T. Uh, and we know the initial state matrix, they won the last game of their season. So the initial state matrix would be they won the last match, they didn't draw it, they didn't lose it. We know exactly what happened on that last game. Okay, uh, now the question is, am I raising to the power of three? Am I raising to the power of four? What am I doing? Well, if I wanted to know the first game of the season, it would just be the first game of the season, this is the initial state matrix, zero. Uh, okay, that, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I think I would just multiply by the transition matrix once, right? Because only one game gets played. See, if it was the second game, I would need to square it. If it was the third game, I would need to cube it. Okay, so you need to be just a little bit careful here. If they'd given us information about the first game of the season, we would only be raising to the power of two because only two games happen. Um, so you just need to be very careful about the wording. Okay, so I'm not going to bother rewriting this T3 here. I'm just going to type this matrix into my calculator, raise it to the power of three, multiply it by this, and I should get an answer. So there's our state after three. What was the question? What is the probability that the team wins game three? All right, so it's win, draw, and loss. So our answer is not the matrix. Our answer is this number right here. Probability winning game three equals 0.614. Okay, and let's do part B on the right side of this line here. What is the probability that the team wins game four of the season if they drew the last game of the season? So, same question. Fourth game, we've done the counting, so we know that four is just going to be the fourth game, so that's fine. Transition matrix to the power of four times the state matrix, but it says they drew the last game. So zero, one, zero, draw is in the middle here. And again, if we type that into our calculator, we're going to get our state matrix in game four our state matrix here, uh, we can say that the probability that they win game four, I guess I could probably, I'm being a bit lazy here, because I guess I should write the probability that they win game four given they draw um, last game. And that's equal to the win one here, 0 0.608. And I suppose I should just rewrite that to be not just winning game three, but winning winning game three given they won the last game of the season. I'm being very lazy with my shorthand here. You can write that out more fully if you want to. All right, mate, uh, these Markov chains can get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There's no end to the number of uh, states we can have either side, but there's an example of a, a three by three. Okay.